I'm going to tell you all the things that you need to know about Starquake. What is a Starquake? Can a black hole experience a Starquake? Let's find the answer to these questions in this video. Stick tight and listen carefully. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. If you are a curious person, just like me, and you want to learn more about black holes, space, and all that space stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Now let's start. Basically, in astrophysics, a star quake is just like an earthquake, but it is much, much, much more disastrous than an earthquake. If a big fat star, even 50,000 light years away, explodes, it can literally end Earth. Fortunately for us, a star that violent isn't anywhere around. And if it is, well, it isn't exploding. In a star quake, a neutron star experiences shivering, just like when we shiver during winters. Why does it shiver? Now that's the question. It shivers because it has uneven matter that needs to be distributed evenly. When that happens, neutron stars release gravitational waves. And those gravitational waves travel exactly at the speed of light. So the speed of gravitational waves is equal to the speed of light. Point to be noted. Another important point to be noted here is that only neutron stars can experience star quakes. Magnetars and pulsars are two types of neutron stars that experience star quakes. And so a black hole cannot have a star quake because it is a black hole and not a neutron star. For this simple reason, if a neutron star, let's just say 150 light years away, experiences a star quake, shock waves would hit us in 150 years. Because speed of light is equal to the speed of gravitational waves. Alright guys, if you appreciate the explanation, hit the like button, please. And subscribe to my channel by clicking at the round icon here. Yeah, that TH logo, click it. Thanks for learning astronomy with me. Man, I just love space.